In this video, I want to introduce multiplication of matrices, okay? And really, the mechanics, how do you do it? So, when you're multiplying matrices, uh, the way that it works is that you look at the row of your first matrix and then multiply each of these elements by their respective pair in the column of the second matrix. Okay, so let's see how this works. So what we're going to do is we're doing 1, 3 times 4, 5. And what that does in that one step gives you a single element. So you do 1 times 4, and then you do 3 times 5. And those two results you add together. Okay, so we get 4 plus 15, so 19. So the result of this is a single element. Okay? Right, so what happens when we multiply this 2 by 2 matrix by this 2 by 1 matrix? OK, so we have, we're going to take this column, 1, 3, and multiply it with the 4, 5, OK? And you and then add, just as we did there. So 1 times 4 plus 3 times 5, OK? That's the element in the top row. Then you take the next row and multiply that by the column. So we've done 1, 3 by 4, 5. Now we're going to do 8, 2 by 4, 5. So 8 by the 4, 2 by the 5. So we have the 19 in the top row. Then we've got 8, 16, 32 plus 10, so 42 in the bottom row. So we've multiplied this 2 by 2 by 2 by 1, we end up with a 2 by 1. OK? Right, so how's it going to work with this one? Right, so we're going to do 1, 3 times the 4, 5, OK, which we now know is 19. OK, and that gives you the first element in your matrix. Then we do the 1, 3, because we've got another column here. So we can do the 1, 3 times the 2, 9. So you get one lot of 2 and three lots of 9. So 2 plus 27, so 29. And that gives you the next element in your matrix. Now in the bottom row, 8, 2 times the 4, 5. We know it's going to be the 42. Then 8, 2 times the 2, 9. 8 lots of 2 is 16. 2 lots of 9 is 18. 18 plus 16 is 34. So we did 1, 3 by 4, 5 gives us that term. 1, 3 by 2, 9 gives us that term. 8, 2 by 4, 5 gave us that term. 8, 2 by 2, 9 gave us that term. So you can see a 2 by 2 times a 2 by 2 gave us a 2 by 2. Now, if we had a look at uh, number 4, the problem here is that we have this row, 137, and it doesn't match with the correct number of terms in a column here. So because I've got 137 here, I've got three numbers and only two numbers there, I cannot multiply these two matrices together. There is this missing value. And so, these two matrices are non-conformable. We've met that before. Under multiplication. OK, so essentially what I need in order to be able to multiply two matrices together is to have the same number of columns in the first matrix as I do rows in the second matrix. OK, so same number 
of columns in matrix one times by same number of rows in matrix two. Okay, that's really what I'm saying, Club. Just so that you're kind of clear on why that would be the case. Okay, and so this is how we can multiply matrices together.